in this video, we're going to dissect the Xbox Series X launch so that you'll have the secrets to get a PS5 on their launch day just two days afterwards on November 12th, 2020. And we'll also talk about more opportunities to get the Xbox Series X and S in the future. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to get the console that you want. So November 10th, 2020 was the launch day for the Xbox Series X and S. And it was a chaotic one that started at 12 a.m. Eastern Time and effectively ended at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, USA. And Xbox buyers can expect a big drought between now and the Black Friday sales of GameStop on November 27th, 2020 and Best Buy on November 22nd, 2020. But if you follow me on Twitter at Linus Wilson, we're going to keep our eyes out for unexpected sales because most of the sales of these consoles, except for on the pre-order dates or on the launch dates, have been unexpected and we'll keep our ears to the ground so that you can get the console that you want. The launch day for the PS5, Sony PlayStation 5, is your best chance to secure a console in 2020 remaining. Watch this all the way to the end so that you will get the secrets to secure one on launch day. Okay, so I conducted this poll so far. We got 2,217 votes. And uh, it, it asks after all the sales on launch day for the Xbox Series X and S, uh, what percent got an Xbox Series X and S? What percent are waiting for the PS5? What percent don't think they qualify under these four categories? And what percent didn't get one? And so if you look at the top and bottom categories, that's about 25% of respondents and about 40% of them, a little under 40%, didn't get the console that they wanted, right? And my guess is that it's going to be twice that uh, for the PS5. Uh, and you obviously can see that, that about three quarters almost 72 percent are are waiting for the ps5 right so we want to have strategies that worked with the xbox series x and s launch uh that worked really well where they gave you a lot of time to check out right because the the situations where you didn't have a lot of time and they were heavily botted those things are the ones that are, you're less likely to walk away with the console. So this is my list of the numbers, the stores that potentially could have sold Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5. I got some confirmation of all these gray stores going up for sale on uh, November 10th, the launch day for the Xbox Series X and S. Uh, so I'll just go through them uh, in the order that I remember them going up. Newegg went up at 12.01 a.m. I never saw an order button. It was very buggy. Um, I think one person, uh, maybe it was Pop Games, claimed that you needed to have a bundle. You had to create your own bundle. I don't know. It just, it was gone immediately. And then the next one that came up was GameStop. And it had, uh, it had like four different bundles, I think. One was uh, $904, and that stayed up the longest. So I really think if you are going in for the PS5 and you're trying to learn lessons from uh, what's been going on uh, with the Xbox Series X, launch day you have to you need to really look seriously at buying one of the the gamestop bundles or the adorama bundles or the costco bundles you need to you should familiarize yourself with those bundles right now because you stand a much better chance of carding and checking out 
uh, a PS5 if you buy one of these more expensive bundles. You know, typically they don't add to the price, but maybe you're getting some stuff that you don't want. But it's kind of an anti-bot measure, too, because, you know, if you are a scalper, you don't want to have all this other stuff that you're not going to be able to sell for a premium. Uh, you only want the one thing, which is the console that you can sell for a premium. And so when these are bundled together, it makes it harder. The other strategy, uh, so, and I think... Uh, GameStop went up, and it was up for quite a while uh, before uh, we had the benefit of Target going up. I was able to cart uh, several of the GameStop things. Uh, of course, I didn't check out because I uh, had already pre-ordered an Xbox Series X. Uh, and then Target, I was also able to cart that, but that could have been a function of the fact that my Target had a lot, so it really depends on what your home Target is. And it did seem like that, uh, and this happened with uh, Amazon, or not Amazon, but uh, Walmart later in the day. So Target went up at around 130, 125, 120 uh, a.m. Eastern, which is pretty close to what the customer support reps were saying. They thought it would go up like at midnight. There were some that said they thought it would go up at uh, 6 a.m. Central, which is... 7 a.m. Eastern or 1 a.m. Eastern. So it, 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 it was kind of not super surprising that it went up at that time. And at first you, you could buy the stock in store. And then after that, I think there was some shipping you could do. So if you were not super fast, you wouldn't be able to do the pickup drive up. And it seemed like it defaulted to pickup, but you probably could change that in your settings or in your app. So you got drive up instead of pickup, but most people won't care that much. I guess if you're worried about carrying a, a PS5 in the parking lot, then maybe, you know, drive up's the way to go. Anyways, but uh, I didn't see how you could change your settings so you could go to ship all uh, straight away. Uh, which I think would improve your odds, but it didn't. And and Best Buy went up. Uh, I think I was told, I, I found, it. I confirmed at least one person who bought from Best Buy. But my thoughts on Best Buy is that Best Buy actually, it was actually, uh, it went up at, uh, let's say, it, it, it went up at, at 1 a.m. Eastern, right, which was exactly what its countdown clock said. But my take is that they probably only had like a thousand consoles or something. It just, it, I never saw an order button, and I was right on it at the time. You know, my computer was cranking slow because I was doing a live stream, but I didn't see much. Uh, and I think that's because they're saving all their stock for their so-called Black Friday day, which is on November 22nd. Uh, so so you, you're gonna get another shot in just less than two weeks uh, to buy the X at Best Buy. Uh, and of course, GameStop earlier in the day said that uh, they are gonna have some Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5s for the actual Black Friday, which is November 27th, which is the Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, I guess I, Neglected to mention the Microsoft store went up just like right after New Egg, uh, so probably before Sam's Club. Uh, but Microsoft store kind of came in a couple waves throughout the the early hours of the November tenth. Uh, there were two different links. I think we got the the initial link was everyone went to, and then there was another link that uh, that I at least um, IGN deals shared. So, you know, usually IGN deals is not in the clutch, but they, they did come with that. And I think it was on the second one I was able to card it. The original one, I was not able to card it. I, of course, I did not. Actually, I didn't card it. I just saw the order button because I ordered from Microsoft Store my, my Xbox, which arrived today, November 10th, launch day. Uh, was bought from Microsoft Store, so I was kind of hesitant to to try to purchase a second one, uh, even though I wasn't going to do it. I just didn't. I didn't want to jinx it. So, uh, but uh, it did seem more plausible the second bit, and that may have been closer to 
after the target stuff, like closer to 2 a.m. Eastern time. And the exchange went up like before launch day. Uh, so I got reports of people uh, purchasing from the Navy version of the exchange. Uh, so, and then, and then the one, there was the ones in the morning, right? So Costco, I think, was the first one to go up in the morning uh, and with their controller bundle, right? Uh, which should, which was familiar because they had a pre-order for that. Uh, and then PC Richard and Son, which is the, the tri-state, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Philly uh, electronics retailer put their bundles up at that time. Um, now, I just got one kind of scattered report that maybe that my, some people did get some consoles from Meyer by walking into the Myers at 6 a.m., but it was just kind of an offhand thing. Uh, and then Ant Online also went up around that time, as did Adorama, right? So there was a whole bunch of activity around 10 to 11 uh, to about 11.30 Eastern time. And then, and then we had uh, a pause, right? And the pause was for, and actually we also, I think around that time and maybe a little later, Amazon went up with the, and this is just for the US, uh, for the Xbox Series S. They never went up for the Xbox uh, Series X. So we never got that from Amazon and I think that's because we're getting reports of people saying that their pre-orders from Amazon for the Xbox Series X may be delayed all the way until December 31st. And I guess that brings you back to the other thing with the Microsoft Store, which went up fairly close to midnight uh, and then stayed up for a couple hours. But, it, you know, it, 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 it flickered out and then it came back. Uh, but... And the, the back was the easier I, for me. But anyways, Microsoft Store was only shipping into, sh their ship date was December 23rd. So a lot of people that bought from Microsoft Store on the launch day were kind of teed off that they got such a late delivery date. Uh, versus, you know, if you got Target, you got to pick it up that day. Uh, and uh, Walmart, that was also, pickup was also possible uh, when they went live at noon. Uh, but I, I guess I was talking about, so Adorama had bundles, and Online had bundles, uh, PC Richards had bundles, and they all went up. Costco had bundles, and I think even Amazon went up at that same time around 10 to noon. There was a gap between uh, noon Eastern time, and noon Eastern time was Walmart's time. And Walmart was all alone for that. And Walmart uh, sold out in a couple minutes. I did get to I did get to the order page. I did see a buy button, but I was like right on it, like a minute before. You know, I got all the notices and and notifications, and I was already already on it. And it said three consoles in stock at my Walmart. So I guess those were pickup consoles. And then right after that. It was shipping consoles, and then, uh, but it was like two minutes. It was live. So, what you know? What do you think that? So all these gray things are the ones that went up, and then the Electronics Express, RC Wiley, Finger Hut, Nebraska Furniture Mart, Fred Meyer, Coles, ABT, uh, B and H. ABT is confirmed they don't plan to have any launch day stock. Of course, PlayStation Direct is not going to sell the Xbox. They're going to sell the PS5. I assume they'll sell it similar to what Microsoft did on uh, November 12th. Uh, but, you know, I guess the, I I think the, the big takeaway that you need to think about is these sales were very quick. They, I think they were a lot quicker than the pre-order sales. Uh, it was a lot harder to cart things, but you know where it was easier to cart things was whether it was a members-only club like Sam's and Costco, or perhaps the exchange. I don't know. I didn't really get to see that uh, because I'm not really a member of the military, right? Uh, but 
or GameStop, which had bundles or Ant Online. And I guess the last one to go up today uh, was Ant Online. So they had a second wave, uh, and they sold their uh, their bundle, which I think was like seven hundred dollars uh, for the X, and of uh, like four hundred something dollars for the S. They sold that in second wave, like at uh, one p.m. Eastern, right? And that second second wave of November 10th for Ant Online lasted only like four minutes, right? So it was possible to see the order button, but you really need to be ready and check out quick. So really the big opportunities from what I saw were GameStop, Target, um, and all that activity that happened between that 10 and 11 hour when everybody piled in. And I think they piled in on purpose, right? They wanted to not have their site overwhelmed. So once they saw Costco go up, they were like, yep, we're going in, right? And and they all went in at once. And then all the people buy in and all the bots were all spread out all over, over all different stuff. But, you know, a ton of my followers got stuff from uh, uh, GameStop, Target, not many, <laughs> a lot from the Microsoft Store. A lot of people got stuff from Microsoft Store, Sam's Club, some Costco's. I don't know anybody that got anything from Newegg. Uh, there was some Adorama, and there was a lot of Ant Online. Uh, I don't recall anybody saying they got it from PC Richard and Son. So there you go. So it, you're going to maximize your chance uh, if you go to kind of a members-only club or you focus on the bundles uh, for the PS5. And I'll, I'll show you the stats uh, on my uh, Twitter page. Uh, but it was, you know, it. there were a lot of people that were all in for this and they came up empty. I'm Linus Wilson. Subscribe.